Oh my god, guys, I'm just so psyched to see Morbius. I cannot freaking wait. Man, it's right around the corner. April freaking Fool's Day. Let's go. Said nobody ever. Guys, let's talk about Morbius because there are a lot of things to address about this movie. But if you're new to the channel, welcome in. This is Geekly Goods. The name is Leo Rydell. Here we talk to the latest in movies, TV, Marvel, DC, any corner of the Geekverse we can hit, y'all. We hitting it here on the channel. So hit that big red subscribe button down below. And I'm here today to talk about Morbius. And... Uh, Man, <laughs> guys, I'm gonna be 100% with you. There's not a lot of good, so I'm just gonna jump straight into the problems that I really had with this movie and why I think it's potentially the worst comic book movie since Fantastic Four 2015. Yes, that bad, guys. Down there bubbling in some of the worst of all time, potentially. I'll back up. Jared Leto, Matt Smith, Adriana Arjona, they're pretty good, but they just couldn't work too well with a poor script, a bad story, badly written characters. So let's dive into things that just don't quite work with Morbius, shall we? Let's do it, guys. Let's talk about it because the CGI right off the bat felt like I was in an early 2000s movie. Speaking of Fantastic Four 2015, I felt like I was in Fantastic Four 2005 with these visual effects. There's this smoky smog that comes off of Morbius to emulate a bat sonar, bat radar, a bat vision, and it just doesn't execute very well at all. It doesn't look well, it doesn't look finished, which is very weird to say, considering that this movie has been delayed for two years. Remember y'all, this is supposed to come out in 2020, so to have two years to be able to clean it up a little, that's a little shocking to see. Unfortunately, visually, it's just not that great. I really can't think of too many scenes in the movie that I visually thought were pretty good CGI. Even at that level, guys, I think the CGI was just very, very poor. The editing. I seriously think that there is somebody like a Kevin Feige on the SPUMC, which is now the SSU, I want to say, Sony Spider-Man universe. <sighs> I, I just see the bad editing in every single one of these movies. Venom, Venom 2, it might be the worst here in Morbius, which by the way, I'm just going to come out the gate and say it. This is the worst of the SSU so far. I just didn't really get to grasp or digest scenes really that well, because as soon as we're getting into some kind of depth in the scene, boom, we're on to another one. There's a new cut, there's another scene. It was just edited so horrendously to where there was just no cohesive flow in the movie. It just moves along and it just keeps on trucking. And I want some exposition. I want some good exposition that dives deeper and really intrigues me to know more about these characters. And before you could get into anything like that, they would just cut to another scene. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I wanna be honest with you. This is a not a spoiler at all, but it's something that happens toward the beginning of the movie. There's like five locations explored in the first like 10 minutes, I promise you. Maybe not that many, but there's definitely more than just a few. It's just cut and edited so bad, just like the other Venom movies. So, 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 so bad. Morbius and the villain. By the way, the villain's name is Milo, so prepare yourself for that. <laughs> yes, that's the villain's name. His name is Milo, y'all. But Morbius and Milo, I like Jared and I like Matt Smith. Unfortunately, motives here seemed a little foggy at times. I know that they were trying to make Morbius an anti-hero, but there are some things in the movie that seem to go against that. So it's just like directionless as if they didn't really know where they wanted this character to go. It's not written well at all because you want to root for Morbius, but then there's some things where you're like, wait, maybe I shouldn't be rooting for Morbius. Okay, what's going on here? Matt Smith's character makes quite the dramatic change that just doesn't really make too much sense, I don't think, especially considering the relationship he and Morbius have. It's just a lot of really poor character writing, in my opinion, to where characters are making these decisions that didn't make sense er for what we saw earlier in the movie. So it was just so strange and odd. Oh my goodness, there, there were just so many glaring issues with the movie from the CGI, the editing, the script, 
the story is pretty poor as well. I mean, it just wasn't that exciting to me, to be completely honest with you guys. I was not excited for it at all. A very wasted female character from a great actress who is my birthday twin. Shout out, Adriana. April 25th, baby. That's a great day. But she's a good actress, but man, she's been in some poor projects, y'all. There's just been a lot that she's been in that just has not been too good. But I will say this is another one to add on to the tenure of not great movies. I really wish this was a better movie. I really do. But even the action choreography, guys, is not really easy to make out. I, I felt like they took some notes from the first Venom. Y'all remember that final battle when it was like sludgy and hard to see? That's how I feel about most battle scenes in Morbius. Even the action is just not tight. It's not well shot and it's not well executed. It really does bother me how much of this like bat radar and smoke is around him most of the time. Let me get to the bats, by the way, guys. There are more bats in this movie than the Batman. I mean, there's potentially more bats in this movie than any of the Batman movie, period. Batman Begins included. Like, I just, I'm like, man, there are so many bats. I, I just, I, there are a myriad of problems. And it really comes down to the fact that the difference between this and the Venom movies is at least the Venom movies could be dumb fun. Especially that first one. I mean, it was just like, all right, at least Venom and Eddie are just dumb fun. And But these characters are written so poorly. The story is just not that interesting that like I find myself just, I found myself checking my phone, which I rarely, very, very rarely do. But I found myself checking my phone to check the time and it just was not well done, guys. And there is just a horrendous post credit. I'm not going to spoil, guys, because I don't want to spoil that, spoil that for you. And I will be having a video about that post credit, so I don't want to spoil for you. But that post credit, uh, the more I think about it, it might be one of the worst post credit scenes in any superhero film. I just, guys, I, I did not really have fun with Morbius at all. And the more I think about it, the more I talk about it, the more my score drops. I was at a 3 out of 10 on Twitter when I posted earlier. And honestly, I might be sliding a little bit closer to it too. The makeup and aesthetic work too just did not look good. But guys, I'm going to come to a score here. With Morbius, I'm going a 2.5 out of 10. I don't necessarily think it's a 2 out of 10 because I don't think the acting was bad. So I think that was one thing that was like, okay... <laughs> If there's anything, at least the acting was decent. And at least Matt Smith's acting as a villain was decent. Even though over the top, corny. Look, we're used to it, right? With Venom 1, we know how this goes. So guys, you got to let me know down in the comments if you're anticipating Morbius. Because I will admit, I was not even anticipating this movie. So it doubled down and honestly came out to be worse than I thought. I was thinking maybe 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10. No, to be at a 2.5. Guys, worse than I had expected, y'all. Y'all gotta let me know down in the comments, though, what you think about Morbius when you see it. And if you haven't seen it, are you anticipating it? You rushing to the theaters this weekend to see it, y'all? Because it comes out April 1st. April Fool's Day, yes. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your boy. And we will see you next time on Geekly Goods.